We all know that Photoshop is amazing, but it's also expensive. If you can afford Photoshop, I would still recommend it over any other free software that I've used. However, not everyone can afford or wants to spend that kind of money. Previously, I would have recommended GIMP as a great free option. But recently, I've learned about a new free photo manipulation program, and let me tell you, it is so much easier to use. Today, I want to introduce you to Photopea, my new favorite free Photoshop alternative that you've most likely never heard about. This video will be pretty short, since I don't have a ton to say about the program. It's not like I can go over all the features in any reasonable amount of time, so this is more or less just me telling you that this program exists. The biggest difference with Photopea compared to other programs is that it is a web-based application. The software runs in your browser. There is no download required. Simply go to photopea.com and start using the program instantly. When you first open the program, you can create a new project or open an existing file from your computer. For anyone worried about security concerns, Photopea runs entirely client-side using JavaScript. This means there is no central server to save any of your information. Everything you do in Photopea is completely isolated to your computer. I have only used this program minimally so far, but there were three features that instantly made me fall in love with the program. Features 1 and 2 are the auto-select and transform controls. Not only do they simply exist, but they are right on the main toolbar, easy to access. As someone who is used to working in Photoshop, I have gotten very used to these tools. They are huge time savers, so needing to use a program that doesn't have them is frustrating. The auto-select tool lets you select items across all layers of your document. This is huge because the alternative is trying to scan through your huge stack of layers trying to find exactly what you are looking for. If you actually name and organize your layers, it would probably be less of an issue, but as someone who generally doesn't, this tool is a must-have. The transform controls let you rotate or resize an item simply by clicking on it. Again, this saves a ton of time by not needing to click on a separate tool or navigate through menus. The third and final feature that won me over is right in the top toolbar as well, the alignment tools. As someone that designs sticker sheets, these are some of my most used tools. I have found the alignment tools in GIMP to not be particularly useful. The ones here in Photopea, on the other hand, work very similar to those found in Photoshop. There are tons of other features available, but as I said before, this video is just meant to inform you about this new program. I urge you to go check out Photopea and let me know what you think. This video is not sponsored, by the way. I'm just always looking for new, easy-to-use resources to share with my viewers. I plan on making more sticker tutorials very soon, and will be using Photopea from now on so that you can follow along if desired. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to never miss a video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.